Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Is It Worth The Hype video. In today's video, we're going to be testing out Benefit's brand new concealer. They call this their airbrush concealer and let me tell you, this stuff makes some huge, huge claims. So I'm really excited to test it out, give it a whirl and wear it all day on my oilier skin type. So they call this a soft focus, medium coverage, lightweight concealer that covers dark circles, fine lines and imperfections with a flawless finish that's virtually undetectable on the skin. If you ask me, that sounds absolutely amazing. Apparently it melts on seamlessly. It will give you 10 hours of wear. It is warm. Waterproof. They say it doesn't crease and doesn't crack and that it will, you know, blur out fine lines and imperfections. So, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So if you're interested in seeing a first impression demo and full review on this brand new concealer from Benefit, then please keep on watching. So it comes in this cute as packaging and Benefit has actually renamed and repackaged all of their concealers in their line. I'll just quickly show you the other ones. And they come in these cute little boxes as well. They're like little erasers. So the uh, Boing Brightening Concealer. I actually feel maybe this was the Erase Paste before, the Boing Industrial Strength Concealer, and this one's meant to be like hella crazy full coverage. I've never actually tested it, but I am keen to try this one out as well. And then the Boing Hydrating Concealer, and um, you guys probably will remember this one. This is the one that came with the concealer in the center with the hydrating um, kind of like eye cream around the outside. So yeah, I actually really love this new packaging. I think it's super cute. It's very girly. It's very benefit. The canisters are quite uh, durable and hard wearing. I feel like you could toss these around and they're not going to break, which is really fantastic as well great for traveling um you know they're not like super heavy or anything so yeah basically what we're going to do is zoom right in and i'm going to apply this to my face i'll also show you a swatches of the three colors that this one comes in and then i'm going to wear it all day and um yeah basically just test out how well it works so, so just as a quick close-up that is what the top of the lid looks like you remove the lid and it's got like a foil kind of seal situation it looks to be kind of like a moussey kind of consistency so this one here is shade number one one. Um, this is the lightest shade that it does come in. This here is shade number two. There's actually only a very minimal difference between these two shades from what I can see, but they may swatch differently as well. And then this one here is shade number three, which is obviously considerably darker. These first two have more of a pinky undertone and shade number three has more of like a yellow undertone. Shade number three is obviously going to be way too dark for me in terms of, you know, brightening and I'm using under the eyes. I'm going to do some swatches as well. So going into this... Um, I thought that it looked moussey, but it doesn't. It just feels like a creamy kind of, I don't know, creamy kind of concealer. Okay, so here are the three colors. So one, two, and three. Shade one and two, like I said earlier, have a much more stronger kind of pinky salmon undertone in comparison to shade number three, which has quite a strong yellow undertone. All three of these are going to work under the eye area, but I do feel like that these are going to give you a much stronger brightening effect because they do have that pinky undertone. So you can see here that it says that it's medium coverage. So we're not going to be expecting, you know, crazy full coverage out of this. This one's more about a concealer that is virtually undetectable on your skin, which I'm so into. Well, let's apply it with our fingers on one eye and with a brush or a sponge on the other. So I'm picking up shade number two and I'm just going to start to place this underneath my eye. Okay, so it's definitely buildable actually, even though it's a medium coverage. That has done a fantastic job already. Look how much brighter it looks here. Then it looks here like that looks really good now obviously i've already got foundation and things like that on um i've you know completed most of my makeup routine i always apply concealer after foundation that's just the way i personally do it but i feel like this one oh my gosh you can't oh my gosh they're not lying you can hardly see that. That is really, really cool. Okay, here's a little comparison of the product underneath one eye and not the other. So um, obviously I've got the concealer here and I think in my opinion that it looks a lot brighter, um, you know, and more youthful and even in texture than it does on this. I see this little, little dark sort of section here. I really hate that, but... Um, you know, that's fairly well completely eradicated that. And hopefully you can see, I do actually have creases underneath this eye here, but it's definitely not settling. I do feel like it's kind of gone a bit funny with the, I don't know if it's the foundation that's underneath it, because it's kind of looking a little bit crepey just in here. So what I might do on the other eye is actually remove the foundation that I've got under my eye there and just apply it straight to the skin and see if that makes a difference. Okay, that definitely does not look cute at all, but let's try applying it directly to the skin because yeah, it has gone kind of crepey on that side. I do have, you know, kind of texture on the skin underneath my eyes. 
Um, it could be that as well. Actually, what I will do for this video is I will test it on some other days with different uh, foundations underneath. And I will also test it on a no makeup day without wearing any foundation. So you guys can get a really good solid idea of how this will perform. Okay, so that looks heaps, heaps, heaps better on the side when applied directly to the skin and not on top of that hourglass foundation. Heaps better. So what I will do is I'll actually remove it off this eye and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I love how that is looking so far. Um, it definitely doesn't crease or settle into fine lines. Like I definitely do have um, some small creases underneath my eye and it is not settling in those at all. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup off camera. I'll come back and quickly show you what I am looking like and then we're going to wear it all day long. Okay, so I have applied the rest of my makeup and I have powdered down the concealer and this is what it is looking like. I do feel like a little bit of the concealer concealer has kind of gone missing on the inner corner of my eye there but honestly you can hardly tell that I'm even wearing concealer you cannot see it on the skin it is not creasing in any fine lines and it definitely does look very airbrushed like the name claims so yes so far so good I will touch back in it later and show you guys what it is looking like after I have worn it for 10 to 12 hours so yeah fingers crossed she works on oily skin hey guys back again with a little update on how this concealer is wearing I am honestly so incredibly impressed with this. I am so impressed. At the start, I was like, oh, I don't know how this is going to wear during the day. Um, my under eye area looks, it looks airbrushed. It, it looks completely airbrushed. There's no texture or crepiness at all. There's no under eye darkness. I have obviously gotten quite oily. My oils have come through. The concealer has not budged at all. In fact, when I touch it, it doesn't it do, I mean, it doesn't transfer, but it actually doesn't feel oily at all, which is super impressive. So yeah, so far the brand new uh, Benefit Airbrush Concealer is going really, really well. Now, like I said, I'm going to continue testing it. So tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to wear it on top of like a longer wear um, Holy Grail foundation. So I'll show you guys what it applies over the top of that look. Um, and then the day after I might just test it with like a natural no makeup look. But yeah, day one, like damn. Huge thumbs up from me, huge thumbs up from me. Okay, back again and on to day two of testing the new Benefit Airbrush Concealer. I have applied uh, my normal favorite double wear foundation to my face. I've used it underneath my eyes and we're gonna pop this over the top and see how it applies. And I'm also going to attempt again, um, applying it with a beauty blender and see how it goes. I'm just convinced that the um, weirdness that went on yesterday was more to do with the foundation that I had on underneath than the actual product. Yeah, see, it works perfectly over foundation goes to show you know products react differently depending on what you've got underneath them it is also applying really really nicely with the beauty blender very easily going on on the under eye area looks good holy crap that looks so nice on my skin it's like next level flawless let's have a quick go of powdering it down as well oh my god look at my under eye area I don't think that I've ever seen it look that smooth. That is some next level stuff. Let me zoom you guys in. Oh my God. I look like I've lost 10 years, <laughs> which I'm not hating. I'm not mad about that at all. <laughs> like, look at this skin here. I get major crepiness there and it just looks, it looks so smooth. Ah! All right, I'm gonna wear this all day and then I'll be back to uh, check in tonight to show you guys the results. Hey guys, I just wanted to check in again and show you how this concealer is wearing. Day two results, I'm still incredibly impressed. My under eye areas look very, very airbrushed. They look flawless. There is no creasing or caking or sinking. Uh, it hasn't separated with my oils coming through. I've been wearing this uh, face of makeup now for 14 hours and normally there'd be a little bit of separating because I do produce a lot of oil through my T-zone and other areas and stuff. Like this stuff is impressive. I am crazy impressed so far. I mean, look at my under eye area. Like it does actually look airbrushed. Like it looks like I've smoothed it out on Facetune or something like that is crazy. So what I'm going to do tomorrow and the last, um, you know, step in this little experiment, I suppose, I'm going to uh, wear pretty well no makeup at all. And I'm just going to use the concealer and I'm going to wear that throughout the day and show you guys how it goes like that. Because I do know that there are a lot of you out there who prefer to just use a concealer as opposed to a foundation and a concealer. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow for day three. All right, on to day three of testing now. Now I've obviously applied all of my skincare and I've also got a very light layer of like a BB cream on to give my skin a bit of a tint. This one's really nice. I'm testing a bunch of them to review for you guys so that you know the best ones for oily skin. But uh, let's try and apply this now. This is sort of typically what I would do on a day when I, you know, I wanted to look healthy but didn't really want to wear too much makeup. I would just apply a little bit to the skin, maybe put a little bit through my brows and call it a day. 
And I want to see how this performs and how it looks when it's applied, um, you know, very lightly and naturally like this. It covers really, really well while at the same time feeling, you know, very weightless. Um, it dries down to kind of like a powdery finish, which I think is really, really good um, because, you know, a lot of the time when you are doing like a no makeup day, um, you know, or like a no makeup kind of a look, you don't typically really want to powder it. Oh. Look how well that's corrected under my eye there. And it's completely invisible on the skin. You would have no idea that I'd applied concealer there. Oh my goodness. Okay, so far looking good. Now you can see I get like a little bit of redness, you know, kind of in this top area of my lip and also on my nose. Let's try covering that up. I might need to use the shade number three for this though. Yeah, I'm going to go in with the sponge. Oh, <laughs> bit dark. Okay. Applies easily with a sponge. It applies easily with your fingers. Actually, we haven't tried it with a brush yet. Have we tried it with a brush yet? Let's try it with a brush. This is the Zoeva 142. And I'm just going to use it on these little blemishes here. Blends out um, quite nicely with a brush too. Okay, so this is what it is looking like. It's completely invisible. Does not look like I'm wearing any concealer at all. I'll zoom you in. Okay, have a look at my under eye area. Can you see anything there? It just looks like my skin's really perfect. Oh my God. It looks amazing. So yeah, I'm gonna wear this all day again and then I'll be back tonight to give you my final thoughts. Okay, back again with the final check-in. You guys, this stuff is no kidding. So I have been wearing this on my face for 12 hours now. The results are very much exactly the same as they have been the last two days. The concealer looks incredible. Um, Under my eyes, it still looks like it, I've got nothing there. It has not at all creased into my under eye. Um, I mean, I've got, you know, some sort of small fine lines under there and it just, it looks so airbrushed. Like, look at this here. It is incredible. Now, I will admit um, it has transferred off my nose. I was incredibly oily uh, earlier and I've just recently kind of bumped my nose and it did definitely transfer. Um, it stayed on the acne really, really well. I just... Overall, I think it's definitely a really, really good concealer. It definitely holds up to its 10-hour wear claim, definitely holds up to its airbrushed finish claim, and it definitely holds up to its, you know, kind of like lightweight, um, you know, natural feeling kind of claim as well. I really, really like it. I will just say quickly, Benefit, it is disappointing that it only comes in three colors. Uh, what about women of deeper skin tone and women of color? They're not going to be able to match to any of these shades. It restricts the people who are able to purchase this product, and even your lighter shade is not going to be light enough for those who have you know very fair very pale complexions um, but other than that I honestly don't think that there are any other cons if you are after a concealer that is lightweight that doesn't look cakey or heavy that doesn't crease that doesn't settle but will also last you throughout the entire day definitely grab this one and if you have texture under your eyes like I don't know about you but I like I explained earlier I get quite it's like it's nearly like a crepiness in my under eye areas um, if you struggle with you know texture there and texture on other areas of your face where normally a concealer just it will not work for you, definitely try this one because I think that um, you'll be really, really impressed with the results. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you found it helpful. I hope that you enjoyed it. And um, if there are any other concealers that you want me to test over a three-day period or any other products that you want me to test and review, please let me know uh, what they are in the comment section down below. And also, if you've got any other questions about this particular product, definitely let me know and I'll be sure to answer it. But yes, I love you all so much and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye. And for those of you wondering, yes, I am wearing my PJs. No shame in my game.